In this chapter, we focus on the sequencing of clips on the timeline. Let's start by placing several clips on the timeline. Let's do that individually, clip by clip. Note that as you're adding individual clips, they're magnetized to one another. This function can be disabled by clicking on the Snap to Event icon. Now let's change the sequence and move the second clip to the end. Note that when the Insert mode is on, the clips on the right immediately move in and fill the gap. If you want the video clips to stay at their positions, change the Insert mode to Overwrite mode. The current status is displayed in the status bar and by an icon on the timeline. If you wish to erase the gap and move in the clips from the right, use the delete gap function. The function can be recalled by clicking the right mouse button over empty space. When erasing a gap using the backspace keyboard shortcut, it is necessary to select the clip to the right of the gap.